These pinwheels are made out of a delicious cottage cheese wrap and then filled with a cream cheese and chives and tuna filling. We're going to start off by getting a baking sheet. Now you can just put some baking paper on there. I just like to use this um, silicone sheet, easier for me, but you can just put baking paper on there. Spread it lightly and then put it to the side. Next we're going to make our cottage cheese wrap. So I'm going to use a cup full of cottage cheese, two eggs, some bagel seasoning and some garlic. And then I'm just going to use a stick blender. I'm just going to pulse this, so intermittent pulses, and then just give it a stir with the stick while it's not on and then just continue to pulse. So you don't want it like water, you just want to have it like a batter, a runny batter. It doesn't take very long, it's super easy and this is absolutely delicious. So once you've finished pulsing this and you've got the desired texture, which should look like this, we're just going to pour that onto our baking tray, baking paper, or if you've got one of these silicone strips, you can use that. This is actually a Swiss roll baking sheet. And we're just going to smooth that out evenly with a nice thin layer like this. And next we're just going to pop this into the air fryer, 175 degrees for about 30 minutes. And this is what it looks like when it comes out. Now the other side is pale, but I turn it over and I put my filling on the inner side. Next we're going to get our tuna. Now you don't need a huge tin of tuna for this, but I'm using a 375 gram of tuna because I'm going to use it for other things later. I'm making some sushi for the boys. So we're going to cut up some cucumber and then just add mayo. And that's part of our filling. Next, we're going to get some spring onion and chives, cream cheese. Now, I've just cut a wedge out of that. It's probably about two tablespoonfuls. And then I'm going to put that into a microwave dish, microwave on high for 15 seconds until it looks like this and it becomes spreadable. And then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to spread that over the top of my wrap. Now I have trimmed off the edges, as you can see, I've made it nice and square and I have turned it over. So this is on the underside, which is quite pale. Next, we're just going to add some of that tuna filling. Now, probably about four tablespoonfuls because you want it to be a nice thick wheel. So I've added four nice heaps uh, tablespoonfuls and then I'm just going to use, I use my silicone wrap just to turn it and then I'm just going to turn that up into a roll like this. And then I'm just going to take a knife and I'm going to cut this into sections so they become like little wheels. Very quick, very easy. Now you can have this cold or you could warm it up a bit and have it warm if you prefer. I like to have it cold. And this is what it looks like. Beautiful. They taste absolutely amazing with that spring onion and chives and the tuna. And then you've obviously got the cottage cheese with the more than just bagel seasoning and garlic. Absolutely delightful. This is very quick and easy. Obviously, it's a very high protein meal. So if you're watching your carbs, this is probably a good one for you. I hope you try it.